As we start our research project, we're going to be using a new website called Live Binders to help us organize both our notes and the websites and any other resources that you're going to be using. You can find this website at livebinders.com. When you get to the main page, go up to the login. You and I will have already created a username and password using the exact same username and password that you use to log on to the school computers and also Moodle. So you'll enter that in here. Mine is different, so I'm going to enter that in. So once you enter it in, you'll click Log On, and you're going to be taken to a page that looks similar to this. What you're going to do then is you're going to click Start a Blank Binder. For your binder, I want you to name it Learning Project. Where it says Description, type in the name of what it is that you're researching. In my case, if you remember back to where we looked at the Learning Project proposal, I mentioned that mine is going to be on Flipped Classroom. So that's what I would put in the description. You can enter tags if you want, but you don't need to. A tag is simply keywords related to your topic. Then you're going to just leave everything else the same. Make sure that you leave your binder as private. This is going to allow you to only have access to it as well as anyone else that you give permission. You will be giving me permission to access yours. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here and you're going to see a shelf. Or you're going to rather see tabs. But before you do that, I want you to go back to my shelves. This is where you're going to give permission to me to access your binder. The way you're going to do this so you're going to go to the binder, in this case, your learning project, and what you're going to do is you're going to say collaborate. To collaborate, you're going to enter the email address of me and anyone else that you want to share your information for. So my email address is lthompson at shenandoah.k12.in.us. And then you just click Add. When it says send an optional email, please click that. And then enter an access key. Your access key should be SMS. You'll send it, and then I'll get an email giving me access to your binder. This way, if I need to find any information for you, I can help you with that. So then you'll come back to this main page and you'll click back on your learning project. Now it's time to start entering information. Now we're going to apparently have an awkward pause. Imagine some music here. Okay, so once you get to your learning project, what you're going to do is you're going to have these three tabs. And what you're going to do is you can enter in your websites here. So one way to use these would be to just take your website, so take the source, right-click to copy the URL, that's the address up at the top, and then you insert it here. So just right-click and paste. So you go to Insert. However, we want to also be able to incorporate our notes. So what you can do either before or after you do that, click on the Edit menu. Then you're going to go to Text Layout and choose Text and Media. So that's going to change this so that you have your website on one page and you can put your notes over here. This is kind of like creating two column notes. Now remember, we don't want to make our notes in complete sentences because then it's really easy to accidentally plagiarize. So what I recommend you do is just create a bulleted list. So you take your notes over here using your website. And then scroll down, get more information, and take more notes. You can repeat this with as many websites as you need to. If you prefer to create the divisions with the notes and then an area for website before you enter the website, just simply click Edit Menu first go to text and media, and then close the edit menu. Once you insert a website, 
So just go to one of your other websites, copy it, and then bring it over here to insert. Then it'll bring those other websites over here. If you need more websites, just click on any of these. So once you click on the tab, you'll notice that on any of them there's going to be this option over here. So just add new tab. If you decide, I don't really like this source, I'm not going to use it, you can just delete it. You can also move tabs left and right. You can also add subtabs. So perhaps you wanted to organize yours based on things, subcategories, what you'd put in each paragraph. So how to flip a classroom might be one of my main categories. Now under that I might want to add a subtab. So that would mean I would just go to this page in my binder and this would be kind of like a page in my binder whereas these are the dividers that you might have created. So there's lots of things you can do here. This is where you're going to keep all of your information in your notes and then you can use that to access as you go through and create your research report. It gives you easy access both at school, at home, or anywhere else you might be accessing the internet and then you won't have to mess with a bunch of note cards that you can easily lose. So we'll keep all of our notes here and then you have access to this wherever you need it. Now if you'd like to keep note cards as well you are still more than welcome to do that. But this is going to at the very least hold all of your websites so that we don't lose them. Ask me if you have any questions and in class on Friday we are going to be creating these accounts.